uh, in Losers right now. Oh, yes. This is uh, San. He's a Japanese Fox player. Okay. Yeah. He's a uh, he's pretty solid. He teamed with Amsa here at SmashCon. Okay, cool. Okay. And we'll see what happens. Junebug, a MDVA Sheik player. Real solid fellow. One of the more understated Smash Masters. Plays a lot of games. I love that SDI. And he's willing to play a fairly slow macro game with his Sheik. Where he just says, I'm just going to keep putting myself in a place where my character has an advantage. And I'm not going to try and push it so hard that I overextend. I'm just going to keep fighting you from advantage. Yeah. And that chisels you down. And as long as he can also find his edge guards, maybe get a back throw, call your air dodge. Oh. Not quite. Didn't send him the right way. Yep. But yeah. June always plays really tight and close to center. And he'll work the corner well, which I appreciate. Nice little wake-up grab there by Sonny. Unfortunately, he's not able to uh, turn that into a serious conversion. There's a nice ambiguous up B spot right there, though. Had the opportunity to go high, low, straight at June Bug or snap the ledge. I'm surprised he opted out Ooh. for the back here. There. Oh, all right. I like it. Mm -hmm. I like it. He had uh, this one full hop drift away in the corner where he just jumped, fell back a tiny bit, then used the little bit of space created in order to move in on June Bug. And then right there, the little shine into the needles. I don't know if he meant that to reflect, but it was cool, and, and it, I liked it. It was nice. It kind of broke the pace up a little bit, gave him some time to recover. But Got a nice little dash dance outside of Junebug's range. He's willing to play the corner. I always respect when a Spacey is willing to play the corner and use a tiny bit of space. Yeah. Definitely seems like he's just kind of playing. He wants to play his game. He just says, all right, well, you know, throw yourself at me. I don't care. There we are right here. We've got Junebug kind of calling out that Son. He's, he's not really willing to threaten the space in front of him. He's uh, playing a little counter hitty. Junebug can just come. If, if a space is doing that, you bully them into the corner with movement, and then you hit them. Yeah. Because June, they're waiting for you to whiff. June's cheek kind of reminds me of uh, Shroomed sometimes, where it's like he'll go for either a hard call with like an F tilt or. Oh, nice little drop shine there. I like it. But he won't go for big, long tech chase sequences, it feels like. I just won't hit them. Rather do some scrapping, just like that. Yeah. Bug not quite going for the obvious fair finish. Going for that little down air extension, tack on some more damage, converts it into a kill, and Son, he's been fighting back, but he's still at a full stock disadvantage. All right. I'm loving his movement here. He's just right outside of Sheik's dash attack range, just making it to where it's so hard for her to actually make anything happen. Yeah, the big downside to that, though, is that he tends to err on the side of drifting away, so Junebug is free to whiff and swing and whiff and swing. And what, yeah. what ends up happening there is that if you aren't counter-hitting, eventually, when you mess up your movement, the other guy hits you. When they mess up their attack, you don't really get anything off of it. So Sen's going to have to be a little more proactive off of these whiff punishes. Yeah, just overextension there by Junebug. Just going deep in on the overshot, but Son finding his way in. Right, just holds that oh. in. Okay, I'm liking it. That movement was actually stellar. What was that? Like jump shine into wave, wave land, land off, off back, back here. Yeah. yeah, that was juicy. Snap the ledge. Great coverage there by June and air dodges. Yep. A solid finisher from June Bug right there, and he was ready off of those needles to just kind of fall down on top of Son, maybe shove him under battlefield, do something. Son yeah. air dodge instead. Jun was ready for the next step of the next step of the edge guard. And Son's just gonna take him right back. He says that was fun. Let's play that game again. Alright, yep. Okay, right. yeah, finding it just kicking him up with the down tilt. And like I said, he never really seems to go for these big tech chases. It's kinda odd. Oh whiffs the edge guard. A little knockdown from that down tilt trade. It's going to favor Junebug tremendously. The right choice from San, but just a degree off. Wow. Oh, so fast. Going for that. Junebug didn't get a snap to edge. San took full advantage. Dip deep, and then a full wave shine across. Excellent play from our Fox. I'm liking what I'm seeing with him. Yeah. I hope that we just see him at more American tournaments as well. Yeah. Japan, super solid scene. Definitely needs a lot more international love. You know, right here, Junebug is he's getting that big tech chase. Got a, got a decent amount of percent off of that. And I think Son is making the adjustment to actually swing a bit. Excellent shine stall. Oh, yeah. Tries to do it again. Tries to get a counter shine there and actually dies for it. Yeah, the 
the biggest adaptation I'm seeing is he, instead of just dash dancing a lot and waiting around for a big whip punish, he's doing a lot of proactive running shine and then working out of wave shine. And it's it's looking good. Yep. Getting a lot of conversions. June bug though. Reading the edge movement from San, snapping to edge, got a Shino stall going. Got his feet back on the ground. Actually, I would say an advantageous position right here, controlling that space right in front of the Fox forehead. Yeah, clanking out with Shino stall there. He's able to stay a little safe. Goes high. Oh, yeah. There's that angle he wanted yeah. early. A little surprised not to see a needle from Junebug right there, but that gives San another lease on life. He's going to try and make something of it. Oh, wow. Just going for a huge platform tech chase there. Was thinking that June gets a little more in shield. Catches the roll. Yeah. So I think I've noticed from San is he's willing to use a lot of empty movement, like just empty jumps into dash back, which is something a lot of foxes uh, don't do as much. They're going to want to, they like using aerials, they like landing with shine, or even just adding things like wave dashes in where they're not really necessary. We've seen San do full, empty full hops, land, and then move from there. But June, like, he's not he's not phased by it at all. Oh, yeah, went for that double shine. Would have caught through if it hadn't just gone the other way. No, I agree with you. I think that the way he kind of utilizes um, Oh. Yeah. He'll, he'll just... He's got these little observational movements that you don't really see from a lot of other foxes. And the Phantom Shine there is possibly going to cost him just a little bit of percent. Nothing too much from him, but... He's thrown out so many shines. Feels like the last wave in Geometry Wars or something. Oh, it's, my goodness. Just look at it. It never ends. Well, okay. It's it might be ending now. Yeah. This is... Uh, he's got a little bit of positioning back. I think he's, he's broadcasting a little too heavily, like what he wants, though. Like he's like, I want to get that running shot. I want to come in on you. Yeah. And he's doing a good job at keeping it mostly safe, but there's been a few times where he just hasn't been able to execute quite as much as he needs to. Yeah, to we, to he had an opportunity right there with that little wave shine out of shield. Didn't get the kill. Got stuck off the stage. Yeah. Junebug just gonna fall on him. That's gonna be that. Junebug takes down Sun 2-0. I don't think he's. Uh, I don't